I met lots of the other volunteers. Um, fantastic work that's going on here. So how do you normally recruit volunteers? Where do you find them? Um, well, we do advertise through our website. Yeah. And, uh, people just generally find word of mouth as the main way mm -hmm. to find people. Okay. But also we work with PAVS, oh, yeah. an organisation yeah. in Halford West, and they uh, direct volunteers to us. Was a bit more about the history of the garden, particularly the walled garden. I mean, Jim mentioned how incredibly old it is, that walled garden. Do you know a bit more about it? The, the original walled garden was probably built about 1840, something mm -hmm. like that. But a lot of the, yeah. the old derelict buildings you see today yeah. probably date from about 1860, 1870. Okay. And we have recently applied for a Heritage Lottery Fund grant to right, okay. restore those really lovely buildings behind the wall garden, yeah, which we were the, those, yeah. the head gardener's office and the fruit stores. Yeah. And those will be turned into interpretive buildings mm -hmm. and educational resources that we can use That'd for various school groups and any yeah. other interest group that wants to go there. So do you have any school groups that come in regularly? A few. I think it's getting very hard for schools to get out and about these yeah. days. Curriculum um, doesn't allow it, does it? Curriculum. Yeah. There's so many regulations about mm -hmm. drivers and where you're allowed yeah. to take kids. I think it's becoming very hard for them. But um, we will hopefully be encouraging and trying yeah. to sort of tailor what we offer towards the school curriculum more. Okay, that would be really good. Should this grant be successful. Oh, well, good luck with that. When do you find out? About the middle of June, I think. Oh, ages, isn't it? It's Keep buying to lottery go. tickets in yeah. the meantime. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, what was the other thing to ask? We'll edit this up, so don't worry about any hesitation. I'm trying to think what else we wanted to ask you. Uh, the walled garden. So I've, I've been coming to Pitchin for about 25 years, and that oh, is what always captivated me was the labelling on all the herbs. Yeah. So is that something that's been, been here for years and years? Or? It's had a 50 year interest here because okay. the, the last Phillipses that were resident in the yeah. castle, Lady Mary and Hanning Phillips, mm -hmm. they were both interested in herbs oh, themselves as well okay. as all the wildflowers, yeah. the exotic plants, they were quite interested in herbs. Okay. So there's always been a herb garden here for a long time. And that's, uh, that's why it's been maintained. And that's when hopefully we'll start growing the, yeah. uh, the herb collection more over the years. Okay, it's, it's certainly had a lot of work on it, I can see from just in the We've last just year, finished so. doing new labels yeah. for them. So. Oh, that's fantastic. I'd really yeah. recommend that for people to come and see. And also bring yeah. your children, because children are fascinated by reading about all these things and finding out about the we've, historical uses. We've yeah. tried to make the sort of in labels slightly interesting yeah. rather than just boring medicinal Printers, sort of yeah. descriptions of things. Okay. So. Um, very timely, you have a bee has come into the to the poly tunnel. Here we are. Um, um, so one of the things that Lucy was telling us about was the, the garden at the top, beyond the castle, uh, where trying to encourage bees and other wildlife. Is that something that you're really interested in? Again, we take, it's a very overused word, this holistic approach to gardening, yeah. but I think, you know, if we can encourage wildlife mm -hmm. and all sorts of really wide demographic of people here as well. Yeah. Um, these old estate gardens can be rather insular places, but we really want to try and move away from that yeah. as far as we can. Okay. Through the volunteer groups, through wildlife, yeah. through you know very varied type of planting and so on. Okay. Uh, so we're trying to be quite modern and really trying to embrace everything. We're working with. You might have seen some sculptures today. Yes, we did see those. From yeah. the second year students at College Cigar in Carmarthen. Uh, this is a project they've been doing. Oh, right, you wanted many. <laughs> That's really useful to yeah. know. And how long have you been working here then? Um, about 23 years. Incredible. Like that. <laughs> yeah. You obviously love <laughs> it then. It's such a nice place. It's such a beautiful place yeah. to work. I was saying to Jim earlier, it'd be really hard to give up volunteering here. You think I've got to fit it in somehow because it's, it's yeah. a wonderful place to be. And yeah, it is lovely. Yeah. yeah. And which is your favourite part of the whole garden? Or is that um, on the year? I think I'm a woodland gardener by okay. nature, scruffy and sort yeah. of muddy. I think that's my default setting. I sort yeah. of disappear off into the woods away from everybody generally. Okay. But um, I do love any sort of plant. I'm just really tree. nuts about plants generally, from mm -hmm. little tiny things to great big trees. So. Okay. We uh, might well have covered them anyway already, but what are the special things people should look out for when they come to Pictou? Um This time of year we've got a pretty unique collection of rhododendrons, quite a mm -hmm. few of which were actually bred here, um, okay. my predecessor year, so we've got a lot of Picton hybrid rhododendrons. Um, in the summertime we've got our jungle garden, which mm -hmm. you might have looked at. Yeah, we had to look at that. It looks yeah. pretty bare at the moment, but come the summertime it's all about eight foot yeah. uh, tall and the, the paths you can barely squeeze through. Um, and again, I really like a lot of South African plants as well, so oh, I really right. like agapanthus, mm -hmm. which you may know the blue fly flowers, uh, red hot pokers and the different types of crocosmia. Yeah. Um, it's an endless list, so I'll stop there. That's okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That's really helpful. You're really well. Right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.